We live in, in amazing uh, peace and freedom. Uh, in fact, all my life I've lived in peace and freedom. I was born in 1946. And my children grow up in Darien, where it is very hard to imagine what war is, what, what can happen, how dangerous it can be. So, uh, because my dad went through some amazing experiences, uh, I wanted that not to be lost uh, and for next generations to be able to, to learn and, and be aware how dangerous war can be and that it can hit you in your hometown, like in Holland, for example. Uh, because the Germans invaded Holland without any provocation, without any reason, just without even any warning, on a beautiful sunny morning on, on May the 10th, just like here on 9-11, but then not just two buildings, the entire nation was bombed flat. Tens of thousands of people, innocent people who went to work, just like in the Trade Center, were just murdered. And when you imagine that happening here in your home village, it becomes a very different story. And that is why I wrote uh, this book, so people can learn from it. Um, my father, Bodo Sandberg, uh, was a fighter pilot in the Dutch Air Force. In 1940, when uh, the Germans invaded Holland out of the blue, uh, he was called to duty to defend uh, our country. The Germans, when they invaded, bombed everything flat in Holland. First and foremost, of course, the military bases. All of our fighter planes and bombers had been blown to smithereens. We had one bomber left and a handful of fighter planes. And the Germans had immediately occupied the uh, bridges across the river so they could invade with their army and their tanks and trucks. So the Dutch government uh, ordered uh, the Air Force to bomb our own bridges over the big rivers. Um, and the only way they could do that was, was with that last uh, bomber because over the ground you couldn't do it, the bridge was already occupied. So. <clears throat> Uh, my dad uh, flew one of the two fighter planes that had to protect the bomber. They uh, all perished and the bomber was shot down in the other fighter plane. Uh, my dad's uh, plane was the only one that made it back to base. Uh, he came uh, home bleeding with uh, bullet holes in his leather jacket, but he survived. Um, then, uh, as a pilot, uh, he went underground into hiding, of course. Holland was completely occupied, overrun by the German army. And then with, five, uh, with four other pilots, uh, they managed to escape from, uh, from Holland. As they fled from occupied Holland uh, on their way to England, uh, they were caught by the Nazis and put in a prisoner of war camp, from which they managed to escape in the boldest of ways by stealing the camp commander's car and driving out the front gate. And I'll tell you all the details of how they managed to do that is in the book. And then the second attempt, they made it all the way to Portugal, from Holland to Portugal, walking through the night with, uh, with traitors and crossing the Pyrenees with guides. Amazing story. All of that is in the book. And then they finally made it to England. Uh, and from there, uh, he was sent to America, where he trained uh, on U.S. fighter planes in Jackson, Mississippi. And then um, he was transferred to Australia, where he actually had a very serious uh, plane crash. Um, with his hand cut off and all that, but they stitched it together again and he flew on. Some amazing stories that you would really only see in a movie that you can read in this book. I invite you to, to read it. You're most welcome and you find it on the website below uh, on the screen.